Hi guys, this is Just North from Offline Performance. Today I'm going to go over the technical details of our Street Series ignition coils that we manufacture here. Um, we've got a few key points I want to go over and kind of inform you guys about what we make here. Um, so the first thing is the power output. Most common question we get asked is how do these compare to stock? How do they compare to other aftermarket ignition coils? Right here I have the three generations of the ignition coils. We have first the older generation, which you're going to see in like the Bug Eyes 0203 WRXs. Um, and then you also have a gray top coil. They're going to come in the later model cars, like in the two liter STIs and such. This generation here are the black top coils, which come in the 2011 plus STI and WRX models. And then of course we have our ignition coil, which does have an injection mold that is interchangeable between all three. Um, our ignition coils are rated at 15% more power than the OEM coils, which actually is going to be higher than the old gray top coils, which are in the 0203 WRXs. These coils are rated lower than even the gray top coils in the newer models. Additional power is going to allow you to increase the gap and give you better drivability with a higher power application. The history on these coils and how we began um, was we started noticing issues with the ignition coils at above 550 horsepower where you needed to gap the spark plugs down and we didn't like that because it caused drivability issues. You get random misfires and things of that nature. So we went down the path of designing our ignition coils to allow you to use an OEM size gap with the increased power output. Once you get to that point, one of the things that you gain is more control over your ignition timing because you're not able to lose that with the power increase. So when we started these ignition coils, uh, we had a learning curve to them. Um, we dealt with some failure rates in the beginning. We've overcome that and now we are at less than a half percent failure rate. So we're doing really well with them. Um, we honor our 18 month warranty without any question uh, if any issues do come up, but I do warranty very few of them at this point. So let's get back to the spark plug gap specs. These are going to depend on the spark plugs you're using, but let's speak on stock spark plugs because you're going to be able to maintain a stock gap all the way up to about 700 horsepower. After 700 horsepower, we recommend you gap these things down to about 022 or 025, and that's going to allow you to run all the way up to 1,000 horsepower using our ignition coils. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions about this, please get a hold of us, and we'll be happy to answer any additional questions. What's up, guys? I'm Cole Peterson here with Offline Performance, and I just wanted to give you a little bit more additional info involved with our coil packs. Now, uh, as far as like installation uh, with these, Basically what you need to know is just when it comes to your cylinder four, any of the back cylinders, you might need to twist the coils around. Now, just a full 180. Now, a lot of people when they do spark plugs and coil packs, they just decide not to do that. But you don't need to lift the engine out or anything like that or lift it up. Just turn the coil pack 180 degrees and it'll slip up. It's a tight space. Now, obviously if you have, uh, this is not a stock setup, but uh, Removing a few things around that area will make your life a little bit easier. Um, also, if you have a friend with very small hands, just ask him to do it. Other than that, um, as far as the coils, when they're installed on the car, one of the main failing points we see is they'll burn out, and that is not because of the coils uh, themselves. Because of the higher output, the electricity has to go somewhere, right? So make sure all your grounding on the engine is up to par. So if you have phenolic spacers or something like that, and there's typically a ground on your intake manifold, those phenolic spacers basically remove that grounding system. So either relocate your ground from the harness or find something else out. Um, other than that, on the bottom of the engine, on either side of the heads, there's also a ground that's gonna be basically like a little strap make sure that those are there. Those are typically, I, I see those gone on a lot of cars in the shop too. So either way, uh, those are your tips. Make sure you're uh, twisting those coil packs to, make, to get those out and also make sure that you have all your grounding system figured out. Otherwise you will burn out the coils and it'll do the same thing to OEM coils, just not as fast. That's it for me guys. Have a good one.